Hello, my name is Hemingway Jones and I make videos about fountain pens, inks, journals and journaling, just about everything and anything that's going to keep you inspired. Welcome to the channel. So today I'm absolutely delighted to share with you a new fountain pen that is a Gold Spot Pens exclusive. This one from Navalar. And this is the Navalar Original Plus Rainbow Rass, an absolutely gorgeous pen. Tom Odo was kind enough to support the channel by sending one along for me to see how I like it. And I thought I'd share it with all of you. Now, this is an absolutely gorgeous rainbow pen, so immediately it sprung to mind. How does this pen compare with my beloved Twisby Vac 700R in Iris. There are some similarities, but there also are some major differences. And seeing this in the box, the Navalar might have a very distinct advantage. So the original Plus is a pen that I've seen, but I've never had a chance to experience. So I'm absolutely excited to see what this one is like. So let's turn our attention to this interesting fountain pen. So here you can see the box that it came in, and it's a fine box with your warranty card, but let's get right to the pen. Oh, this is really lovely. And it's wrapped in a protective coating. Wow. Okay, wow. Amazing. Look at this. Look at this glitter in this pen. This is super fun. This is a glitter rainbow pen. And I know it's a rainbow rasp, but it could be a mermaid pen just as well. I mean, look at that. Wow. It's just beautiful. I love the shimmer. I love the rainbow trim. I love that it has a rainbow nib. Out of everything, rainbow i get the most excited about rainbow nibs this one is a medium and navalar makes their nibs in-house and this is the navalar number six steel nib with the rainbow treatment very pretty of course we have a vac filled pen here and I think you can see the distinct advantage that this has over the Twisby Vac 700R right out of the gate. It's slimmer, much slimmer. A very sleek and beautiful pen. In fact, let's grab the Twisby Vac 700R. I love this pen, as you know, if you've been following the channel for a while. But my problem with it is this inelegant bump here. It just gives it a bit of a strange taper in a strange spot. But here we can see how these two pens compare. Similar sizes. The VAC 700R is a touch longer. The VAC 700R does not have fun glitter. Now, Twisby nibs are by Yovo. And it's not a full rainbow effect on the nib, but it's certainly rainbow in the right places. The Navalar is a full, rainbow, beautiful nib with an in-house nib. Now, an in-house nib for $65 is kind of extraordinary. Pretty excited about that. So now we have to see how this thing fills and how it compares. Because the Twisby Vac 700R is an extraordinary pen with a problem in its construction in that it's very inelegant. This is very sleek and beautiful. Sort of like the venerable Pilot Custom 823. I mean, this is in 823 territory. In fact, its dimensions are very, very similar to the Pilot's. Except the Pilot has the taper on the piston fill. This is a bit more blocky but still very lovely. And of course, you know, the Pilot Custom 823 is one of the singular most perfect pens I know, and it's an absolute delight to write with. Will the Navalar live up to these two brilliant pens? 
we will have to see. So there are so many different types of inks I could fill this pen up with. It looks like it would just go with anything, not the least of which would be a shimmer ink. But I think out of the gate, I want something blue, something deep blue, something aquatic. I'm thinking there's nothing better than the Tachio Hokusai Kawaii Great Wave ink in its deep beautiful profound indigo i think that will look absolutely beautiful in this pen and kind of ground it with all the beautiful sparkle and iridescence going on in this fantastic pen so with this beautiful koi ink we just have beautiful deep indigo no shimmer no shine no sheen no glitter all that is reserved for this gorgeous pen so this gorgeous pen is a vac filler, which means we simply unscrew the back, pull up the piston. As we press this piston down, it should create a vacuum and the ink will run up through the pen and fill it with a very dramatic whoosh if we're lucky. Let's give it a try. That was pretty satisfying. Now you could certainly get some more in there if you want, but let's not mess with it. That's a decent fill. Let's clean off our nib thoroughly all around the section, the grip, the gap between the feed and the housing. You want it nice and clean. You don't want any bits of ink like that to spread and give you the impression that there's a problem. Just clean it. Take a minute. These are the rituals of fountain pen ownership. Luxuriate in them. Enjoy the moments. Now we're going to test out this pen with Clairefontaine Poprite paper, which I adore. The Reporter Notebook, it's one of my favorites. It's great for filming. I use this all the time. It's hard to look at this pen without smiling. There's a constellation in the acrylic. It's a lovely acrylic resin. But let's see what this medium Navalar in-house nib can do. Mm, very nice. It's one of those sort of thinly cut mediums. I am really surprised how this pen writes. It is very, very smooth and the nib is very precise. There is an abundant ink flow without feeling sloppy or too wet. It's very disciplined, very nice, very well flowing, and it is just a joy to write with. It's a bit of a surprise. You never know what you're going to get from a fountain pen, but this one is very, very pleasant. It feels very nice in the hand. Its dimensions are near perfect for my hands, and it's easy to steer, and I'm very excited that I'm not seeing any false starts. I'm not seeing any skips. And I'm making some extravagant loops without losing any of the ink or the momentum. What you want is a pen that writes with alacrity, with enthusiasm, that can keep up with the speed of your thoughts on those lucky days when your profundity is flowing from an endless, boundless reservoir. You want a pen that can keep up with you and how you think and how you write and how you express yourself. To me, that is one of the best things and I'm really enjoying writing with this pen. So, how do I feel about this pen? Well, it's certainly sleeker and lighter than the Twisby VAC 700R. It feels very good in the hand. Very easy to hold, easy to write with. 
It reminds me a bit of the Pilot Custom 823 in Dimension. Although the nib is not as extraordinary as that one. But still, when you consider these two pens and the fact that this is an iris, usually somewhere around 80, 85 US dollars, this one's $65, and I think that's more than fair. Which one would I choose? I think it's a tough decision. I think this has slightly more rainbow trim with the cap, but this has the sparkles in the resin, which is a lot of fun. It's certainly not a business pen, but it's a lot of fun. And fountain pens should be about fun. We should have fun. We should enjoy ourselves while we write with these things. They should inspire us at different times in different ways. Sometimes just to not take ourselves too seriously, which is a lesson that I always need reminding of. I don't know about you. So maybe sometimes I want to be the guy who's writing with a rainbow glitter pen. Although I do imagine that one day this pen will be liberated from my collection by either my wife or my daughter. But for now, I'm happy to own it. And I think if I had to choose between these two, I just might choose this one. And I'll tell you why. It has a couple of real distinct advantages, even over my beloved Twisby. First of all, the sleekness and the fact that it lacks the bulge in the center. I think that's very important. The fill mechanism also, very nice, very smooth. Worked fine the first time. I feel good about that. Build structure, fit and finish, feels very much equal to the Twisby. But the nib is in-house. And I think that means something. And I feel like we should encourage that. I feel like we should support the pen brands that are brave enough to make their nibs in-house and to take that cost on, which is very rare at this level. I mean, Pilot does it, Lamy does it, Platinum, a few others. But it's nice to see Navalar doing it. And I think they really hit it out of the park with this one. And I think that Goldspot did as well with this beautiful design, with all this fantastic glitter. I mean, you could be very tempted to put a shimmer ink in here. It would certainly match. I mean, you almost feel like there is shimmer ink in here when you look. But that's the gorgeousness of that acrylic. It's stunning. It's very inspiring. It's just really delightful on the eye. So what do you think of the Navalar Original Plus Rainbow Rass Vacuum Fill Fountain Pen, an exclusive from Gold Spot Pens? Is it something you might want to add to your collection? Would you choose it over the Twisby Vac 700R in Iris? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you, Tama Odo, for sending it along and for your support of the channel. I appreciate it very much. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We go to a lot of different places and it's the fountain pen that guides us. And if you'd like to support the channel even more, consider becoming a member. Love to have you behind the scenes and see what's going on there. So I make new videos all the time and I have a live show each Tuesday night at 8 p.m. So I can promise you one thing, we will see each other again very, very soon further up the road. So take care.